Hello, my name is Mr. Pendergrass and I am the elementary instrumental music teacher at Fairmount Park. Thank you for joining me for this trombone lesson that focuses on how to practice using the brass method. I'll talk about some trombone maintenance tips to keep your instrument in good working order, some practice tips for a great song excerpt from the movies, and finally, a brief introduction to one of my all-time favorite trombone players. This guy is amazing. I'll give you a moment to get your materials. The first thing we want to do is tell you about a word that you can use to help you think about practicing. This word is brass, like what your trombone is made out of. And each letter in the word brass stands for a concept or idea we'll use to help you practice. Here's a slide and a list of the words, and we'll go through those in this lesson today. But before we start playing, I wanna share with you some sayings I use with my students. I realized that after 20 years of teaching instruments, they sometimes just fly out of my mouth without any explanation, and maybe confusing or just weird. The first one is this. You are the boss of your instrument. What do I mean by this? It means you have the tools, brain power, and stuff to play your instrument. At this stage, I'm assuming you have a good foundation to play your trombone. It doesn't play you. It's a mental mindset, really. I sometimes see students pick up their instruments and think, I hope this works. I hope I don't make a mistake. Oh no, what if a weird sound comes out? I can't do this. Well, if you start off with the you are the boss of your instrument attitude, I really believe you will have more success. Does it mean you will play your instrument perfectly every time? No, but it's a way to begin with confidence and courage, traits every good musician must have to succeed. The second one is fill your instrument with warm, fast air. I'm sure you've heard your teacher say, blow more air, come on, play it louder. But what does that mean? Let me explain quickly by giving you two examples of blowing air or using your breath. The first one is the type of breath you might use to blow out a candle. Not too much, definitely cold, and very wimpy. This is a shallow breath, not the kind you want to use when you're playing your trombone. Now, the second type of breath is one you would use to fog a mirror, or say a car window to create condensation, and then you could write your initials. Now, just try this but notice what happens to your stomach just before you create that breath. Right? It expands and you push out this warm, fast air. This is the air you want to get the best sound on your trombone. You can buzz with me. Now let's do some sirens. First high and then low. Finally, for your buzzing warm up, let's pick a song that we can just buzz on our mouthpiece. So let's do Mary Had a Little Lamb. These are buzzing warm-ups. I like to do those first before I even play a note on my trombone. So I'll put this slide up for you and give you a moment to practice and buzz by yourself. Now, before we put our mouthpiece on our trombone, I wanna go over some basic trombone maintenance you can do at home to keep your trombone in good working order. First, Rinse out your mouthpiece. Take a look inside there. It might be kind of gross. If you have a mouthpiece brush, use it. If not, rinse it out with warm water and soap. Get rid of any gunk that might be in there. Secondly, don't play after eating. Well, make sure you rinse your mouth and brush your teeth or any food particles you have in your mouth will get stuck in your mouthpiece and other parts of your instrument. That's just gross. Third, after playing for a while, you may hear a gurgle, gurgle sound when you play. This is water and spit that is built up inside the tubing 
of your trombone. This is the time to get rid of that liquid by using your water key. Some people call them spit valves. But don't do this on your floor. Nobody wants to step on your gross trombone water. Just find a suitable place, press the water key, and it will flow out. Now, how to take care of your slide. We really want our slide to move smoothly. So you've got to take care of it. It's, it's really the only thing you have to change pitches other than your lips. So trombone players, we got to take care of our slides. That means never setting your trombone down on the slide because any kind of weight on here will wreck it. Now while I have my trombone up like this, I just want to say this extra tubing that I have on my trombone, you might not have. This is called an F attachment and it just allows me to have an extra set of tubing. It's kind of an advanced trombone. But my trombone works just like yours. I blow on one end, so let's get back to talking about our slide. I want to show you a way that you can make your slide really slick. And it doesn't involve oils or magic potions. It involves slide cream, which you might have in your case, and a little water. That's it. So what I like to do first is take my bell off of my trombone, set it someplace safe, probably in your case is the best place. Then what I do is I pull out my slide. And here's what you get. Be careful of these two parts here because you don't want them to get bent. Then I wipe off any gunk that I have on there with a paper towel or a regular towel. Then I very carefully put slide cream all up and down this part of the slide that has the two open things. This other, this other part where your water key is over here, just set it down and be careful with it. And I lightly coat my slide, the silver part, with a light coating of slide cream. Don't gunk it up, just a little bit, because what you're doing is you're gonna spray some water and the water will beat up on that cream and that is the best lubricant for your slide for it to move really quickly. Now in this picture you're seeing me use a water bottle because my spray bottle is stuck at school, but you could use a spray bottle or anything. You could just sprinkle water with your fingers on there. Once you've got the water beating up on there, you will have a slide that moves so fast, make sure it doesn't fly out from your hand when you've got it. That is the best way to take care of your slide. Now finally, never, never, never set your trombone down where it's resting on the slide or in a chair. It's going to get wrecked. The best thing you can do is take it apart and put it in your case and it'll stay safe. All right, mouthpiece back on your trombone. Let's play some warm-ups. Check out this helpful warm-up from the trombone book we use in Seattle schools. You'll notice that we don't have to move our slide for this warm-up. We'll just be moving our lips and tonguing each note. As you tongue each note to get your tongue in the right spot, imagine you're spitting a watermelon seed through your trombone. If you combine this feeling with warm, fast air I mentioned earlier, hopefully it will sound like this. One, two, three, four. try it with me. We're going to tongue each note and we're going to use that articulation part of the brass method. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. yourself and try playing it on your own.
Okay, we are ready to practice an excerpt that's a short part of a bigger song called Imperial March from Star Wars. Here's what it sounds like. Now, this is a really cool piece for the trombone, and it's a little tricky, but I want to show you how I approach it. We're going to be playing some parts over and over again because there are some tricky parts. And as I look at this piece of music, I think the third measure has a tricky part there where we have to play that high B flat. So I know I'm going to need a lot of air for that. And then beyond that, when we go to that D flat in fifth position that you see there, and down to the low B flat, that is a lot of lip work and slide work. So let's chunk it out. Let's make some practice motif. I used to practice like this. I would play the song over and over and over again. And I'd maybe get it right three times out of ten. And then I'd put my trombone away and say, I'm done. And I did great today. I like kids to try and play the whole thing, but then break it down a little bit. I'm going to start in the third measure and I'm just going to practice playing the part that goes bum, 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 because I know that's a little tricky. So I might do this. And I'm going to do it again. And then I would do it again and again. This is the repetition part of the brass method. You want to know how you're really getting a good practice in when your parents or people in your family say, stop playing that same thing over and over again. Just tell them, hey, I need to get it right. Once you've got that, add the next little part. I think as I look at this, I'm going to go from the B flat in that third measure down to the fifth position D flat. Now listen, everybody, fifth position is just beyond your bell. Okay? <laughs> So I would work on that. Then maybe I would back up a little bit and connect the next part. I used to practice and waste a lot of time because I used to think I have to play from the beginning all the way to the end, no stopping. It's okay to chunk it out. It's okay to chunk it out. So maybe I would do this part where I would go bum, 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 bum. Let me try that part. So don't be discouraged if you can't get this on the first playing. I don't expect you to, but chunk it out. Take some time to work on it now with your own special sections that you want to work on. But before we go, I, I want to share with you one of my all-time favorite amazing monster trombone players. His name is Trombone Shorty. I'm going to play a little short excerpt of his music. want to learn how to play the trombone better, listen to professional players. Listen to music that has trombones in it. And when you find something you like, listen to it. Watch how they play. Watch how they hold their horn. Watch how they take a breath. Listen to the sound they make. If you can research on your own and find players that you like, this is how you become a better player. It's part of your education of being a great trombone player. So check out Trombone Shorty. There's a lot of other great trombone players out there, but listen to great music especially now that you have this time at home. And I hope you'll keep practicing getting better on your trombone each day. Thanks a lot.